happen. And this 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 gravy, this gravy fiasco, that gravy fiasco that I went through here uh, yesterday. I'm going to try to make up for it today. And it uh, what what actually prompted all of this series of baking was them free tomatoes that I got. The sun the sun fetched me over a bag of tomatoes that he scored them up there to dump. Some kind of policy they have up there at certain times of the month they give away tomatoes. And uh oh they couldn't you know, hey, hey, I'll tell y'all something. You, 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 you know that, uh, <coughs> uh, go ahead and do this right here and uh, leave a comment. You know what I mean? Just leave a comment there to whatever you think, good or bad, just write her down. You can see what I'm trying to do is make amends of I had on a bandana yesterday I, I don't know what that bandana it, it had an emblem on it a uh, character Chinese some kind of Asian something or another I'm going to assume I'm not it may be outer Mongolia or somewhere like that you know what I mean one of those Asian countries and uh, all it was was a yard sale find and I kind of liked it but, you know, I didn't research as to what that, uh, what that symbol, you know, you know, what was, what was actually over my head? You know, where was my head at when I was wearing that? Leave a comment what you think that symbol is there. You know, is it good or bad? Um, cause, uh, it's going to be a plenty. And, and what, what happened? I, I tell you what. Uh, th this is not what I set out to do. This kind of stuff on pay television. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say about that. You know. Because at the end of the day, you, you you know when you watch a video on this YouTube, and I tell you what, YouTube ain't sent me no stickers neither. Man, I sure would like to have me one of them YouTube speaker stickers back there. And one of them coffee cups. Hey, uh, I ain't much on them comments. I don't. I ain't been getting my comments. You know what? Anyways, uh, Uncle Raggy down there in Mississippi, I think it is, is he got one of them there uh, YouTube coffee cups. Boy, I sure would like to score myself one of them. You know what I mean? If somebody knows 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 where knows where somebody could turn me on to one of them, well, I sure would like to have one. Even a YouTube sticker. You know what I mean? Something. I'm just saying. So I'm gonna say about that. Actually, what what uh, what started this is. I was I was tipped off earlier that the crew might be over, and and I had that question there that I you know needed to bring for before some kind of committee, which I did, and uh, I had this big bright idea that I'm gonna turn that oven back on. Uh, I, I had this I had this bright idea <laughs> that. Uh, it's 450 on that oven right there, and I got them skillets in there oiled up in that oven. And and, and my bright idea was uh, I was gonna I was gonna make cornbread really quick, you know what I mean for the for the visitors. Uh, hot cornbread with some butter on it, you know what I mean. You ain't eating no better than that right there, you know. But what happened is when I went for my cornmeal, well, you know when I goes through here. You know, I mean, I've, I'm, I'm done already checked all everywhere. I don't have any. I did not lay any cornmeal in. I got flour, uh, lots of flour right there. I do have it. So, anyways, that's all the cornmeal got. It's one and a half cups. I don't know what that says there. 
I probably put my glasses on. That's two cups. Oh, we 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 uh we looked out on that because I think that's what the recipe calls for is uh, a couple of cups, and that's about it. You know, I mean, even if, even if uh, uh, you know, if you go on go on the back of the cornmeal bag. Like I say, you don't get this stuff right here on pay television. Uh, I'm going to read this out loud to you. It is pretty much the same on all brands. Don't be quoting me on no brands or nothing like that. Uh, anyway, Crisco, you don't get this on pay television. They cut this out. I'm just saying. It says a large egg. You know, we're not going to use that. And it says one and one third cups of milk and a quarter cup of baseball, two cups of, of cornmeal. Oh, okay, a self rising. Well, I'll go along with that. That's that's a pretty decent recipe they got there. You know what I mean? It's what I've been doing all the time. I wonder who was the first to come up with that. Anyways. Uh, got that in there, got that in there. They, it, it's, it's, it's. Uh, you, you know what? Red up to the point. Hey. Uh, listen up. A cup of uh, oil. You know what I mean? Just pour you some in there. And that milk, three quarters of a cup. Okay. Now, now, now. This is one occasion. It's one of the occasions where you do not want to put too much milk on the get-go because but because we don't have any extra. But I'm gonna show you something. We're not done with it yet. Oh, that's looking good. But see, I need some more milk, and, and I'm even gonna show you something more than that. It's cream of wheat. I mean, it's the real brand. You know what I mean? It's cream of wheat. Cream of wheat. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's that's y'all can y'all see that right there? That's a pretty good lot. And I'm gonna put some more. Look at her. I, th I think I'm on. I think I'm gonna need more milk. But. I did put some more. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a little bit lumpy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, uh. And I laundered that. I mean, this is just a follow-up. Y'all hear that wash machine in there? Man, sometimes it sounds like a jet plane taking off. <laughs> And, uh, but I laundered this up right here, and it turned out quite well. But I've done a lot of, I got, I got way too much skillets. Be, be very careful when, when, uh, when you're doing this right here, you ought to have adult supervision with you. I'm, I'm just saying. Them things is hot. 450 degrees. And they dumped it in there. And <laughs> okay. Now, this 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 cornmeal batter. It's a mix. You know. It's ready to go. Pour it in the pan. About 15 minutes. you got cornbread. But, look here. See them, see them, see them tomatoes uh, that we, we diced up there a while ago while we was running off at the mouth. I'm going to put them right in there. Okay, that's the reason. That's the reason that. Okay. 
Y'all think that's all I'm going to do to that cornbread batter right there? Well, you badly mistaken. Watch this. It's a washing machine. This right here, you know what I mean? It was regular price. I paid it gladly. It's onion flakes. Y'all see them? It's one of them little things like this right here, whatever brand they are. It's onion flakes. You get them up at the store. They're dried up. They work perfect right here. And I'm going to put a lot of them in there. Uh, Y'all see about how many that is? Yeah, you probably will see it. But just take my word that I put a pretty good bit of... Uh, I put, I put, I put a, a handful. Oh, it's going to be good. You know what? Let's put some red pepper flakes in there. You don't want to put many of them in there. So that's all I'm going to say about them peppers. Don't put too many. You know what I mean? If, 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 you, if you was going to pin me down and I had to give you some kind of measurement that you could work with, I'm going to say one quarter of a teaspoonful. And you can quote me on that. Once this is baked up, oh, okay, that's, that's a little bit thick. It's a little bit thick. So, I added a very little bit of milk. I heard that washing machine in there acting up. It sounds like a jet plane coming in for a landing, I'm telling you. I don't understand it, but it does a good job. You know, that's all it counts. You know, you just throw your clothes in there, you know. What more do you ask out of a washing machine? Okay. Uh, not to get behind. Now just watch this. I know, I, uh, let's just do it. Y'all you, you see that batter I put in there? Just just let, let them tomatoes fall wherever they do. I think that's perfect consistency for this to bake and the tomatoes be cooked. So I'm going to shove them in that oven. Y'all see that? Mmm. Time. Oh, we're on the clock. Always note the time when you put that bread in that oven right there. And it was nine. You know, it was a little bit past nine fifteen. You know what I mean? So I, I'm going to look at it when when that big hand gets down on that. Uh, you know, past the six. I'm gonna look at it. I'm probably going to lay a ten pound bag out there. Uh, you know, just plain cornmeal and then some kind of mixed stuff, you know. I don't have a preference either way. I'm going to describe this to you in a mind movie. Y'all picture this. <laughs> that wash machine. It, that, the sound of that wash machine will take us on a trip in itself. I mean, I, I'm partly guilty. I accept some some degree of responsibility. I accept it. When I put them clothes in there, I, I have it set automatically to go to double cycles on every phase of it. You know what I mean? It, red, it washes twice Rinses twice, you know, spin dries, you know, about what, six or eight times. It rinses again, you know. It even goes through the washing again, I think. Because it's set on heavy duty. It's light duty, but, it, you know, I just feel at ease of overwashing clothes. I just, it, I feel better about it. 
you know, one of my this well I kinda of think we should look at this cornbread. To be honest about it. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's any number of side dishes that you could have with, with this cornbread. Tomato, onion combination. You know, it's uh, in my book, it's taking cornbread to the ninth degree. But like I say, I don't know this stove here. I don't know it. I'm, I'm getting more familiar with it. Y'all see that? I think it's a shadow in here. But y'all see that cornbread there? Oh, I'm gonna have to lay in some better lighting. For sure. Let's take let's take it, let's uh, set it up for a minute. Remember, boys and girls, this is very hot. When I shook it to see if it was loose, it was still battery inside. So, I'm going to put them back in there. You know, that's that's what happens when you get to see what a baked good looks like. But I had better check that temperature, make sure I got an override number. I, I don't see I really don't have it's on 475 I mean uh, yeah for that's 450 so you know what I mean I don't know if that adds up or not I kind of wished I hadn't come up on that right now. Describe that uh, to okay. you. The, the, the number starts with 200. Okay, the next printed number like 250, there's a dot. Okay, there's a dot. Th there's one dot between 200 and 250. That's uh, 225 is the number between there. Okay, on the other side, it's 50 up to 300. So what is half of that? 75? Yeah, let's go with that. Put that in there. So I actually had it set on 400 and... Uh, my best guess, 428 degrees would be my best guess. Okay, I moved it up there to where it's 452, my best guess. That's where it should have been at. Because, I, I like I said, I'm not familiar with my stove yet. Y'all hear that? <laughs> Y'all hear that wars machine in there? Oh, it's got two blankets in it. That's the reason. And it's not vibrating very bad. But I can see the light shine on it. And it's kind of, you know, it's vibrating. It's not too bad. Just say it. Cornbread. Let's look at that other. Yep. Oh, that's going to be good. I'm going to let that sit there for just a minute. And we'll, we'll see if it's loose. You know, if you have to help your... See, see, I just cooked 
I tell you, 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 I tell you what I did. I cooked that. Uh, I cooked that gravy in this skillet right here. So you you know you you you'll have problems a couple of times after that most of the time with your cornbread coming out. I'm just telling you be expecting it. And this is hot out of the oven too. Uh, this all this digging I'm doing here. Well, I'm kind of taking it easy. I'm, I'm not rushing this right here because I'd like to get it out in some some kind of form of one piece and turn it upside down on the pan and let it cool. But I, it's stuck. You know what I mean? What, whatever, whatever I get when I turn this over, you know what I mean? That's what it's going to be. Let me see how that other one looks really hot I will tell you something if you're there in your kitchen and you got your spatula doing doing this same thing right here you it's not a failure by no means it just you really actually have to get your skillet to condition. And it, it don't come easy, but my way of thinking is, you know, ain't much need to be a... You know what I mean? If you go and put a skillet in the oven with in, to season it, you know, put some in there and bake it. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good. Oh, yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, I would like that to be cooked a little more, I'll tell you, to be honest about it. See, if I could get that turned over. Put it back in that oven, bake it up another 15 minutes or so. It's not It'll done. About 10, 10 or 12 more minutes. In the meantime, in the tomatoes that requires the extra baking time. Just be aware of that. So while, while that's baking, I'm going to cook something that will take that disaster to the to the tenth degree, to the next level. When it comes to fine dining, I'll show you what it is. In the pan there, two cans of them diced tomatoes. And right here's some, that's that, uh, that's that cane sugar. You all see about how big that handful is? I'm gonna put about two of them in there. And some butter. You all, you all see how big that, that chunk of butter is right there? Let's put that in there. You know, somebody will say like two spoonfuls, and maybe that right there was three spoonfuls, and the person will actually put the two in there and save that one spoonful. I mean, throw it in there. Can't hardly go wrong. Oh, that's going to be good. And as a rule, I wouldn't put parsley flakes in there. But, you know, you, you know I think... Uh, See about how many that is? I'm, I'm going to put some parsley flakes in there. I was thinking I might put some of that lemon pepper in there. Boy, it'd be good. And uh, should I or should I not add that lemon pepper? 
You know what I mean? When you've got a little word over in the, in the salvage on your notepad, it says lemon, lemon pepper. You know what I mean? What you gonna do? Did you put it in here or not? You know. Sure enough, like a taste. Actually, I'll put a little salt there. This right here sure would be good on a biscuit. Let's get on to serving this up. Always bake two. You know, that's just the way with cornbread. Bake two. Yeah. I'd say that's about ready to eat. Considered this was a change of, let's say, serving uh, ways. It's not what it set out to be. But that's the, that's the joy of knowing how to cook. You can change right at, mmm, right at, right in midstream, you can change. Oh, yes. That looks so pretty, I'm going to go ahead and get another one, kind of to match it. To go here. And then fill in. All of the rest of this, these crumblies. We do have another cornbread on the sideboard, remember. And this is nothing but a real good tomato sauce to, with very few. It's just a basic tomato sauce. It's it's not really good. It's just a good good basic tomato sauce. You've already got the flavor in the bread right there. This right here is just. Give you something to soak too. Oh, you soak this right here in that cornbread right there. Don't don't put too much, but put. Don't be shy about it either. You know, get you some of that soup to the point where that. Oh, there's enough in there for at least seconds. Get a piece of cornbread and a sliver of tomato. Okay. Hit replay, make yourself something identical to this. That's one of the most unique, delicious flavors that I have cooked in a long time. And it was kind of haphazard right there at the last. I left a couple of things out, you know, but I, I'm not going to put it off anymore. For sure, we're not. The, uh, Oh, that's good. Very good. Free tomatoes. Thanks. That's the next day. Got that there hamburger patty. Got them green peas. And them that there 
chopped up tomatoes. They were canned goods, you know what I mean? Throw some butter in there and that other stuff. Oh, y'all see that there grated Parmesan cheese? That's the store brand, you know what I mean. It all started with that free tomato right there. Well, there was a bag full of them. Now, y'all come on in, and we're going to show you how to cook this right here.